Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to continue our series on badges. This time around, we're going to check players to see if they have a particular badge before we allow them to do something else in our game. So in this example here, we're going to award the player a badge whenever they find this key right here. And then they have to have that key to open up this gate right here, which we have set up with a click detector. So if they have the badge and they click on the gate right here, then it's going to teleport them inside. However, if they don't have that badge, then they're not going to be let inside the castle. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So in this video, what we want to be able to do is check players to see if they have a particular badge before we allow them to do something else in our game. As I mentioned before, if you want a more detailed explanation on how to award badges, then go ahead and check out the first video, which I'm going to have linked on the screen here. I will give a brief recap in case you're starting with this video, but if you want to go back and learn more about the details, then that first video is going to be a great option for you. Let's go ahead and start with some of the setup. So right here inside this little house here, I have a part that I have set up with a touch event that's going to give a player the badge. That's the second video in the series. I'll go ahead and leave a link for that one on the top of the screen here. The basic idea for this one, if you're new to this video, is I have a part right here. Inside this part, I have a script. This script has two main parts. It has a function that's going to award a badge. And then we connected that function to a touch event so that when the player touches the part, they get the badge. Once the player has the badge, then the next thing we want to do is have them go over to the gate here. And then when they click on this transparent part right here, which obviously you can make it visible once you're done testing and everything works. But once the player clicks this part, then we want to check the player to see if they have the badge that they should have gotten from the little hut over here. And if they do have that badge, then we're going to teleport them inside the castle. If they don't have the badge, then we're going to leave them outside the doors. Okay, so the main idea for this video, again, is just to be able to check players to see if they have a particular badge to allow them to do something else in the game. So the part I'm going to focus on is setting up the script for this right here. So what I did so far is just add a part to the game, nothing fancy, just go ahead and insert a part. If you're going to keep the same style as I am and use it as a click detector, then once you have that part inside the game, you want to add a click detector, which you can do by clicking on the plus sign and then clicking on click detector. Once you have a click detector inside your part, then you want to add a script. Same as before, click on the plus sign and click on script. All right, so on the script, we're going to start with a few variables. The first thing we're going to do is say local badge service. That's going to be equal to game colon get service. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put quotation marks and then badge service. Next, we're going to create a variable for the click detector. We'll say local click is equal to script dot parent dot click detector. Next will be a variable that's going to store the position we want to teleport the player to. To make this a little easier, what I did is I inserted a part on the other side of the castle. So there's my part right here. I just named it inside castle to make it easier to reference in the script. And then what I'm going to do is take the position from that part and use that as the position where I'm going to teleport the player. So heading back to the script, I'm going to say local teleport part. That's going to be equal to game dot workspace dot inside castle. So that's why I changed the name of it. So it's easier to find. I'm going to say dot position to get the position of that part. And then I just want to do a small correction. I'm going to say plus vector three dot new inside here. I'm going to say zero comma three comma zero. So what this line is doing, it's finding the part called inside castle. It's taking its position, and then it's going to just shift the player up by three studs so he doesn't spawn inside the ground. Next, what I want to do is create a variable that's going to store the badge ID that I want to check the player for to make sure they have it. So I'm going to say local badge ID, and that's going to be equal to. To find the badge ID, I'm going to go to the Home tab, click on Game Settings, click on Monetization, and then I'm going to find the badge that I want to check for, which is going to be the key right here. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about for this section right here, go back and check out the first two videos where I talk about how to set up badges. So I want to check the player for the key, which they found in that little hut in the beginning. 
I'm going to click on the three dots, click on copy ID to clipboard, and then I'm going to paste it right here. Next, I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call this function check badge. This function is going to need a player and a badge ID. What I'm going to do inside this function is check the player to see if they have this badge ID. To do that, I'm going to say local success comma badge is going to be equal to p call, so a protected call. Again, we're using this so that if something goes wrong, it doesn't break the script, but we can use some error handling after this function call right here. So p call, and then I'm going to say function. Inside this function, I'm going to say return. And then I'm going to say bad service. So this is the same as what I created up here. I'm going to say colon user has badge async. So this is how I'm going to check the player to see if they have the badge. Uh, this is going to take in two different things. It needs the player's user ID and a badge number. So I'm going to give it the player's user ID by saying player dot user ID comma. And then the badge number that I want to check is stored right here. And the last thing I'm going to do is just return the badge, which is going to let us know if the player has the badge or not. Okay, next I want to connect this function to the click so that when the player clicks on that part in front of the door, it's going to check the player for the badge and then teleport them if they have it. So I'm going to do that by saying click. That's a reference to my click detector, which I set up right up here. Click dot mouse click colon connect function. The click is going to let me know the player that clicked on it. So inside here, what I want to do is say local has badge. And that's going to be equal to. And to populate this variable, I'm going to run my function. So I'm going to say check badge, check it for the player who clicked, and then check to make sure they have this badge ID. So what this is going to do, it's going to run my check badge function. Player is going to player. Badge ID is going to this badge ID. It's going to check the player to see if they have the badge and let me know if they have the badge or not. Next, I'm going to say if has badge, then. So at this point, all I need to do is teleport the player. So I'll say player dot character dot humanoid root part dot C frame. It's going to be equal to C frame dot new. And then here, I want to teleport them to this position up here. So all I have to do is say teleport part. I can do this because I already stored the position that I want to teleport them inside the variable on line three. Okay, and that's all there is to it. So this is going to run a function when the player clicks on the door. It's going to check to make sure they have this badge. And if they do, then they're going to be teleported inside the castle. Since I've run this script already and I already have this key, I want to show you guys what's going to happen if I don't have the key and I try to click on the door. So to get rid of this badge so I can do some testing, I'm just going to click on it. You can find this badge in your inventory, badges, and then again just clicking on the one I want to delete, going up to the three dots, and then delete from inventory. All right, so now let's go back to the game and let's go ahead and test out our script. All right, so since I deleted that badge from my inventory, I no longer have it. So when I click on this door, you can see that nothing happens. I'm not being teleported inside the castle. A nice addition to this would be adding some way to alert the player and let them know that they have to find the key first before they can enter the castle. But what I'm gonna do now is go over to the hut so I can get that badge. There we go, so now I have the badge and I can come back over here. And now when I click on this door, I get teleported inside the castle. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. So now you know how you can check a player to see if they have a certain badge before progressing them into some other part of your game. All right, I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.